एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो आई एम जानवी एंड टुडे आई एम हियर विद यू टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट क्लास नाइन्थ इंग्लिश एन सी आर टी बुक ऑफ योर मू नॉट मूवमेंट बुक ऑफ योर बिहाइव बुक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द लिटिल गर्ल चैप्टर विच इज रिटन बाई कैथरीन मासफील्ड सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द लिटिल गर्ल हु इज़ वेरी सैड एंड नॉट हैप्पी विद देयर डैड बिकॉज देयर डैड डोंट स्पेंड देयर टाइम विद दैट गर्ल ओके So let's start this chapter. So let us start with just a second. Yeah. Okay. So as I told you, this chapter is about the little girl. The little. The title of the story is refer to the main character that we will come across the little girl. In this chapter, by the heading of this chapter, you get to know about the concept that we are talking about whom. Okay. so we are going to talk about a little girl who name is kezia the name of the little girl is kezia the theme of the story is relationship between the child and their parents and the writer wants to tell us that children share a very important bond of love with their parents in this story in the theme of the story we are going to talk about the relation between the parents and a we can say a child okay and as we know all the child share their love share their memories share their problems to their parents so we are also going to talk about a girl in the story and their parents kesia was a little girl she feared her dad her father okay she thought that her father was like a giant he has big hands and a big neck his mouth was also very big she always avoided him she thought that he was very cruel what happened kasia she was a little girl and she very fear means she very frightened by their dad she very like she get frightened by their dad and she thought that their da- dad was a giant because they have the long hands and they also have the long neck and his mouth was his mouth was really very big that's why she feel this she also avoid him she don't like that she sit him she sit in front of my father she talk to her father no when they come she avoid him she go into her room and she do anything that he want she thought that he was very cruel means he don't like his dad that's why he see that he is very cruel for him case your father work in an office he went to an office in the morning before going he went to the little girl room he gave her a uh, cozy kiss the father went to the office in the carriage she felt very happy when the father had gone what happened kasia her father were work in the office he went her father work in a office in the morning before going to the office he go in the kasia room and he gave them a cozy kiss to her the father went to the office in a carriage and they go she felt very happy and when her father go to the office she felt very happy that now my father has gone next thing in the evening the little girl father came back he spoke loudly in the house kasia framed her father loud voice her mother would ask her to go and take off his shoes when she entered his room she looked at her sternly kasia thought that her father was a hard hearted person what happened almost if i say almost the kasia don't love her father she don't like her she always afraid from them and what happened in the evening when her father came back he spoke loudly that please give me water where are my socks where are my socks and these all things he said so kasia was very feared and scared from that her father's loud voice and her mother would tell her go and take their shoes and when kasia get enter to her father rooms she look at the father very sternly and kasia thought that her father was a hard hearted person okay next slide one day kasia made a pin question she wanted to present it to her father on his birthday she need papers to stuff the pin cushion she found some sheets of paper in her father room she tore the sheets to stuff and pin the cushion her father had very an important speech on them he was very angry with her he took a stick and beat her severely he told her not to touch anything that did not belongs to her kasia wept bitterly she would why god had made father now she trembled even as the sight of her father now what happened one day 
that her mother asked that did you see this paper then she is very sad and so she her mother still go and tell then she go and tell that i have used the papers to make but she has not able to speak also okay she is not able to do her father has beaten her and she was very angry with her and she has also beaten her with a stick and then he said that don't touch anything that didn't belongs to you kazia yeah? and then she is very cry a lot and then she going to her room and she said that why god has made father why they have done and they have never like a father now when now she tremble even then she also not bring her father that i am in trouble next thing one day kazia saw her neighbor mr but wait a just a second important word this they will call that uh, the question that can be arrived that who kazia see and who kazia see in her neighbor the name of that so it's mr just a second so he has seen mr mcdonald ha huh. mcdonald she ha she has seen in her neighbor and he saw was play, he he was playing with his children she saw that her uncle her neighbor's uncle he is playing with her child and be happy they are looking very happy but kazia father never play with her now she thought that there were different kinds of fathers in the world her own father was very pure now she wanted she has seen that her neighbor uncle that is mr mcdonald he was playing with her kids and then he when he see that she is looking that they all are happy when they are playing with each other and she also think that my friend my father never play with me and all the father in the world are different to each other that my father is a queer person and after a few days kasia mother become ill her grandmother took her to hospital kasia was alone in the house with the nurse she has to sleep alone with her bedroom at night she has a horrible dream she saw that there was a watcher with a knife she was terrified she gave a lot cry her father came into her room he lifted her and took her to his own bed she lay beside her father what happened after few days her mother uh, get sick and he ill so her, her grandmother took her to the hospital and kasia has to sleep alone with the nurse then she has to sleep alone because and also for that her mother sleep because she all, always having the horrible dream she have in the night so she saw that the horrible dream she again she see that a butcher a man who is coming with a knife and he is going to kill her so he has seen this dream and after that she was very terrified that what will happen then in the dream she was very crying a lot then her father taken her in the arms and taken her in the room and she and he has led her to her bed to sleep and then she lay beside her father lay okay and after that he was try and fell asleep before her she was lost in thought she thought that he had to work hard every day he come in the evening then he was so tried to play with her she thought that it was her fault to tear those important people she realized that her father was not bad he has a big and loving heart okay so here the chapter ends he is saying that uh, after he asleep with her father her father sleep before her and she was lost in the thoughts that my, all the fathers are not bad and her father has to do a lot of work in her office and he came in the evening so they don't have the time to play with her okay after that she thought that it was a fault that it was her fault that she or she is the only one who has steered her father important papers and she realized that 
her father is not bad he is having a big great heart for her okay now let's discuss the question answers they are little bit okay what made kazia father punish her was she right to do so kazia father has written a speech on some paper kazia has made a pin cushion for her father on his birthday she need papers to stuff the fun pin cushions and put them into the cushion what happened as you know kazia has to make a uh, some birthday gift for her father so she has to take a she has tried to make a pin cushion and he has taken the speech the paper important speech of paper she has taken and she has tear it into the pieces and then she has put in that that's why her father punish her father was not tried to beat her she he could have made kira realize her mistake with love okay and her father was not tried that she he punished her but he can make learn kazia because he can also love her and make kazia that it was wrong okay he don't have to beat her why did the little girl start making the pin cushion one day kazia was stuffing was some cold she was keep in though her father's birthday was next week her grandmother suggests that she should present a pin cushion to her father so she start making the pin cushion i told you okay what happened that one day kazia was suffering and she was feeling cold so her mother came grandmother came into her room and he tell that you have to make something for your father to feel happy and that's why she start making it what did she stuff in it with why was the stuffing stuffing very important for her father okay and did she know that it was important kazia found some sheets of paper into her father's bedroom she tore them into pieces she stuffed the pin cushion with those pieces the stuff was very important for her father and important speech was written on those paper but the little girl don't know about it okay last three questions kazia looked through a hole in the fence into the doctor oh, sorry in into mr donald garden what did she see uh, kazia was that mr mcdonald was playing with his children they were running around the flower beds baby mao uh, was on his shoulders the two little girls were hanging on to his coat pockets they were very happy they have seen her describe the departure of kazi father for his office kazi father went to the office early in the morning before going he went to the kazi's room and she gave him a kiss then she gave goodbye to her father describe the arrival of kazi's father at home from the office kazi father returned from office in the evening files coming was a noisy affair then he raised his voice on entering the home kazi mother asked her to take off her father's shoes okay so by this we are we have almost finished our chapter by this now if i say i hope you all have cleared this chapter so this was really a beautiful chapter about a little girl how adventure she is so i hope you got it okay thank you and have a nice day if you like it then please like subscribe and share bye bye for now